Hey, you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. All right, folks. Um, I'm going to make a comment about something. I usually don't like to do stuff like this, but because I was kind of disturbed at what my nephew said, um, and <laughs> Him, him, him and his friend aspiring to uh, be Nick Cannon. <laughs> uh, then I got to say something. My daughter remembers. I remember watching Nick Cannon. I always thought he was a cute, cool kid. Um, all the way back from the Nickelodeon days. And Keenan and Kale and the, 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 the girl. I can't even think of her name now, but she was so funny. But anyway, to make a long story short, I have to make a comment, Brother Nick. And I love you. So I just want to say something to you. Um, I listened to your interview. And everybody handles their business the way they handle their business. I agree. But what I am here to represent and speak for as a well-seasoned, well-seasoned 62-year-old, um... Then I have to I have to make a comment, otherwise I'm just no no the cloak is as bad as a thief, right? Okay, so what the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to, to uh, kind of correct the misconception that you have. You said marriage, I believe you said marriage is a European concept, and that's not accurate, brother. Marriage is an African con concept. Marriage is uh, a God concept, and there's nothing wrong with a marriage. Now, the way the marriage is defined is, I think, in my opinion, I could be wrong, is where you having the uh, disconnect at. Secondly, you are doing, um, I hear a lot of people out there talking about my brother Future, and they call him Didi. And y'all know what stand, Didi stands for. It stands for dirty good, right? Um, and because he lays his seeds all over the place, and because there's no cohesiveness as far as the children are concerned, I'm not talking about the selfish adults that want to uh, do whatever they want to do for their gratification, but I'm talking about how the children respond to this type of scenario. I've ran group homes and I've talked to children, and I'll tell you what, they don't like really having, most of them, don't like having multiple siblings everywhere by their father. Now, they, you can make a dog used to bad treatment. So because you make your children adjust to something does not mean it's in their best interest emotionally. One thing is not being secure enough and not having time. Now, you've been a busy man for a long time, Nick, and uh, the children, and I get and I believe and I agree with everything you said about where you starting from, because you've been Nick Cannon for a long time, right? However, you ever notice that when brothers don't have any money, they use the same excuse about they don't have no time. Because a woman can tell them, look, you ain't got to have no money. Just come pick up your child. Spend some time with your baby. <laughs> oh, I'll be there. I don't got no money. But what it really is, you don't even want to give up your time because you don't show up. I hear you got another brother that got millions and millions and millions. And he can give his kid and his kids anything they need, but they, he can't give them time. His time. That, in my opinion, Nick, is where it begins to be selfish. Your children deserve your time. You put them there. Not just they, no, and not just, I'm talking about as a cohesive unit. Now, if the if, if you want to talk about polygamy and you want to talk about the way it looks in a perfect world, in the way that it should be presented, then your wife should pick your wife. You shouldn't be out there picking nobody. Your wife, that's how you develop a, commun a community living. That's how you develop a, a strong foundation because everybody on the same page. And for all of y'all who like threesomes anyway, it shouldn't be a problem for you on a lower level. But on a higher spiritual level, Nick, don't tell me that you 
You so enlightened, but you're picking your wines because that's not the way it works, sweetie. You're supposed to be enlightened. That means your wife is picking your wife. She's picking who is going to keep this society, so to speak, that you are uh, the king of. But well, you, that's how they're going to keep it going. And so when we start talking about visiting your children and doing these things for the children and this, that, and the other, your families don't seem so spaced out. Now, I don't know. It just didn't seem to me like you was talking about you had that type of situation. So I don't want my nephews and them to get the wrong idea. And that's why um, I had to make a comment about this. Because I know a lot of pimps, brother. I come from, I, listen, I'm from Milwaukee. Home of Iceberg Slim. So I've seen it all kind. Big Bear. I know what it all looks like. So I've been in these streets. And I've also been in these churches. I'm, I'm full of religion. And I'm full of the streets. If you want to know the truth of the matter. And I've evolved. And as you continue to evolve, because you got a lot of growing to do, brother, and I, you've come a long way, and I commend you. I also want to congratulate you on your degree from Howard University. I think that was one of the best things you, you know, you could have did in terms of um, exclusifying your um, portfolio, should I say? But I, it's all love, Nick. But I just want you to know that when you make a comment like that about European being the uh, architects of marriage. Um, I think that we were here before the uh, European and we'll be here after the European. But the concept of love, the, I mean, the concept of marriage is not a European construct. And the concept of polygamy is not done pimping style. It's done where the queen, the queen picks the players on the board, baby. And then when you do that, then it's, in my opinion, uh, the way we talk about polygamy love. All right, so with that being said, brother, I just had to say that I want to congratulate you on another season of Wild and Out. Um, I thought about Mariah Carey, who's up there around me. You know she wouldn't go for it. Not like that. And Mariah is also an Aries, just like me. There's a lot of qualities and similarities you're dealing with when you're dealing with alpha women. And that right there, bro, is to tell the truth and shame the devil. If you don't have the time to put in, then sometimes, I don't care how much money your kids got, they'll be like tumbleweeds blowing down that Nevada desert. So with that being said, um, salute your brother Nick. And keep on doing what you're doing. And I'll see y'all in the next video. And this especially for you, Amir.